Welcome back to another e-filing training where we give you helpful tips on basic document preparation and also answer some of our more common e-filing questions. I'm Chris with Green Filing. Green Filing is a certified e-filing service provider in the states of California, Illinois, Indiana, Maryland, Texas, and Utah. And for this episode, we are going to talk about how to fix documents the court says are too large. But before we begin, I would like to point out that I am not an attorney and the information I am providing here is not legal advice, nor is it intended to be. Please always check your local court rules, general orders, or FAQs regarding specific e-filing guidelines as they may vary. For our viewers watching this training on our YouTube channel, this episode also has step-by-step -step written instructions on our help site, and I have placed a link for you in the description below. So let's begin here. What some filers will find is that sometimes a court is going to reject a filing because the document is too large. Or in California, the filing clerk might actually reference CRC Rule 2.100-2.141. They'll tell you that the document size is improper and their file stamp does not fit proportionally on the document. Uh, what I would like to point out here is that it's important to note that the clerk saying that the document being too large has nothing to do with the file size in terms of megabytes. This rejection has more to do with one page or all pages of a PDF being larger than their required 8.5 by 11 inch format. Think of it more as your PDF is the size of a movie poster as opposed to a piece of paper. And the reason they reject this is if you look at a file stamped copy where the document is too large, their file stamp will be microscopic and illegible. As you can see in this example, the file stamp is on the upper left and it's microscopic. I've added a red arrow to point this out because it's so small. This is what happens when your document is too large and the filing clerks are in general trained to automatically reject your filing for this reason alone and ask you to resubmit it. So let's say that you have received this rejection now it, you want to confirm, is it one page, is it all pages, which document is it that is the issue? And there's a few different ways you can confirm this. So the first method to check on document sizes is opening it up and looking to see if one of your pages is too wide. Now this can happen when you have filled out your normal complaint and let's say that you have added exhibits to the PDF and one of those or more of those exhibit pages are just much wider than your complaint that you have created. And you can go through and scroll page by page to see if anything looks off. So here is page one of the complaint. If I scroll to page two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, you will come to my exhibit large. And what will happen is if you scroll back up, you will now see all of your other previous pages are very small in relation to this large exhibit. This means that this one page is way too large and you're going to need to resize the whole PDF. Additionally, you can simply go to file on the upper left and click print to pull up a print screen. If you scroll to the page sizing and handling section and click actual size, you can once again scroll through each of the pages. As you will see here at the top, it says eight and a half by 11. But if you scroll through page two, three, four, five, six, and seven, you will see that the seventh page has this little white box in the middle and the document up top says 70 inches by 91 inches. 
What you see in this little white box is an eight and a half by 11 size page, which means this is way too large in relation to each of the other pages, which you will see a document size of eight and a half by 11. So you can scroll through a print preview to see which one of your documents is too big as well. Additionally, you can simply scroll to any one of these pages in your, in your pager at the top center and highlight that one. So we are looking at page seven and then go from on the upper left file and properties and it will then bring up this document properties page. In the advanced section, about towards the bottom, you'll see page size says 70 by 83 or 70 by 91, which tells you that this page is too large. If you have a document that is that all of the pages are too wide, you will be able to follow the same steps as um, looking at each page, going to the print page or the properties to confirm it as well. So now you have realized that your document is too big. How do you fix it? If you are on a PC computer, you may go to the top and click print, file and print. In the page size and handling, check fit. And what that will do is make sure that each page fits to the eight and a half and 11 that you see on the right side here. Now I'm using a Mac, so I do not have this option in the dropdown, but if you are on the PC in the printer section, you will see Adobe PDF. Select Adobe PDF as your printer on a PC, and then come down here to the print button and click print. What that will do is let you print to PDF and it actually saves it as a file on your computer. So it will be resized as eight and a half by 11 uh, with a new document. Now, unfortunately, Mac users are not so lucky because they do not have that ability to print to PDF. You may click command and space and type the word preview to open up your preview program. Then open up your document, and in this instance, this is the document where all are too wide. Then you may click File and Print, or Command and P, whichever is easier for you, which will bring up your print screen. Now, some people by default will show this, and if you only see a document with very few options, click the Show Details button to pull up more options. You will want to make sure your paper size is eight and a half by 11. You will want it in the portrait mode. You will want it to say scale to fit. And I like to select fill entire paper. Then here in the middle where it says PDF, save as a PDF. And it will bring up your screen to save it. Now the one caveat to that for Mac users is that if you resize your document using Preview, it will remove any bookmarks or any OCRing you have done. So after you resize your document, you will need to OCR it and bookmark it if the document you have requires it. Now following these steps will help go a long way to ensuring that all of your documents are eight and a half by 11, and so the filing clerk will not flag and automatically reject it for that reason. And with that, I think that is it for this episode. You may find more helpful tips on our Green Filing YouTube channel or visit our support site over at efilinghelp.com. And until our next installment, everyone have a great day and thank you for watching.